Okay, welcome back guys. Um, sorry I didn't post a video uh, last weekend, but I had a slight disaster. Um, right, I will explain what happened. Okay, here's my original board. Um, it's the MKS base board, uh, V1.2. <clears throat> and it was mounted it was mounted actually about there at the time and uh, whilst doing a print that I'd set up um, and leaving it to run I went to wrap <coughs> the printer up in this bubble insulation this is only uh, <coughs> temporary at the moment this uh, I keep saying the word temporary rather a lot at the moment but yeah this it this was just temporarily held in place it didn't have velcro on it I was just using sticky tape and uh, this was here the print was running I pulled this around and this was actually cut a lot longer a piece of this sort of flicked round the corner and uh, what happened was, let's try and zoom in. Anyone who's got these boards, the MKS base type board, maybe other boards are the same, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked. But those two pins there, or two sets of six pins, with these ones are connected directly to the main power headers which is 12 or 24 volt whichever you set it up for so there's 24 volts directly on those pins there sorry I'll try and hold the camera still I think I need to get a proper camera but anyway so 24 volts on there 5 volts on those with a very tiny gap in between and what happened was the foil came across just briefly touched those pins to those pins and yeah the end result is a dead a dead Arduino. Um, it took some surface mount components out completely. I have tried to salvage the board, but it is it is dead. Um, the Arduino 80 Mega, should I say, is fried. So what happened was it put 24 volts directly onto the 5 volt rail, which is everywhere on the board, obviously. Uh, it took out the Arduino. It took out the drivers there's one there you can see the uh, semiconductors basically exploded or imploded through the side and uh, and these were on a heat sink that will sort of sorry they had heat sinks on them but that's completely shot and it happened almost instantaneously it's only a 10 amp power supply but I suspect all 10 amps went straight down the 5 volt rail and then to then to ground and yeah it killed the LCD as well this LCD is now no good he is dead but thankfully um, straight after it happened obviously online ordered another board so one dead one one dead screen a load of dead um, drivers 8825 type drivers now when I bought this board this was about 60 quid that was about eight pound or nine pound from Banggood and these were about two pound each on eBay now from a very good seller on there you can buy the whole thing the same board new LCD new drivers another one here unused so it comes with five drivers and that was 29 pounds and 70 something pence delivered to my door and uh, yeah that was 
just over a week ago. So uh, within a week from China for £30, a replacement board with the drivers. No heat sinks or anything, so I'll um, put them somewhere. Yeah, I'll swap all these back over. They were for the MOSFETs. Um, these were just cut out of an old CPU heatsink and cleaned up just to fit. Nothing special, but it, it all helps rather than relying just on the surface and the board to actually conduct the heat away. I know they do, but um, I always like to put a heat sink on anything that produces some heat. So yeah, heat sinks to go back on, got a new board, and the first thing I have actually done, which to me makes no sense really in, in having that there, because it's just a potential failure in my eyes. I have removed the 24 volt pins off this board before I've even put power on it, so they are gone. I mean, the board and the Arduino chip and everything else on here will cope with 5 volts. If you touch that with anything else, a 0 volt rail, you're just going to you're just going to take the power supply out. It's not really going to damage too much, but 24 volts. If that goes anywhere, it, it, it's a game over. These they're not going to handle 24 volts anywhere other than these driver chips which are designed to take the full the full voltage of 24 volts. Um, so yeah, I've removed these pins, they are gone. That is not happening again. But whilst in the meantime I've been waiting for this board to arrive, I need to get a better camera. So whilst waiting for this to arrive, which I'm actually amazed because it's only just over a week, so uh, I've not been out of action for too long. Um, I probably will buy a, a spare board, but as in previous videos, I may use a smoothie board or something else. I don't know, Beagle Bl Bone Black or just something else. I want to try something else. These are, these are okay. And I've bought the same just so it's a quick swap over because, um, yeah, I one step at a time let's get back to where I was and then once everything else is sorted I will upgrade the board and try that later but for now let's get back working in so yep I blew the board up blew the LCD up and I'm working again so it's now I've put the firmware back on to where exactly where it was previously I have tested this out quickly all runs up when the the thermistors are, are on Marlin fires up without the, uh, the halted temperature interlock which kicks in. So this is ready to go. Um, in the meantime, whilst I've been waiting, and I'm going to unplug that, because knowing me, I'll pull the thing off the bench and it will be game over again. So uh, out of the way, safe. Let's get rid of that cable. In the meantime, I've been just making some quick changes really obviously first I've cut this back put some velcro on it it cannot come round the corner now it cannot touch I've moved this up moved it back a bit as well so that the whole control board is set further back I'm gonna say this word again this is only temporary I have been working on the the power arrangement and the switching of things um, and installing some water cooling. It's, again, this is not finished, and this is not finished, but um, basically I've got some 230 volt relays, some 12 volt and 24 volt relays. It may seem like overkill, but um, I'll explain it's not entirely overkill. I've also got three solid state relays, um, the ratings of which are 25 and 240s is, is irrelevant really. Um, what these are actually for is switching on <coughs> my chamber heater, my bed heater and a spare channel for another heater or whatever I want on mains. Um, so, yeah, three solid state relays installed on the back plate and 12 5 volt um, opto-isolated 
relays for switching other things and uh, yeah because I'm going to be using water cooling because I'm going to have a heated chamber um, I've just straight away made sure that I can switch everything safely so I've made some cables up um, and 